state of pure shear here for a given point we can write this stress matrix as shown here sigma x tau x y tau x z tau x y sigma y tau y z tau x z tau y z and sigma y z and here what it is while defining this stress at a point we will take three planes three mutually perpendicular planes and here we are taking x y z so this is the x plane because x is the normal of this plane this is the z plane since z is the normal this is the y plane this y is the normal and what we are going to do is uh, for this particular plane let this be the first plane for this particular plane there will be a sigma x that is the direct stress then there will be a tau x z and tau y z so these three are represented here similarly for this plane also there will be a direct stress and two shear stresses and that is represented here for a plane which is represented here so now uh, while we are taking these three perpendicular planes we will be writing like this now if we are changing the direction of these three perpendicular planes that means let us say that we are rotating this coordinate system and this is the point and we are rotating somewhat like this now we have another set of x y z plane for that too again we will write this stress matrix uh, it will have another set of sigma x tau z tau z etc and while writing different combination of these stress matrices for at least one stress one matrix for at least one matrix if this sigma x sigma y sigma z are zero or if the direct stresses are zero then we can write this stress matrix as shown here where sigma x sigma y sigma z will be zero and then we can say that a state of pure shear occurs for this particular point so for a particular point the state of pure shear occurs if at least one stress matrix can be written in such a way that the diagonal elements are zero now we already know the first invariant l1 is the sum of diagonal elements sigma x sigma y plus sigma z is equal to zero this l1 is called invariant because even if first we have taken coordinate system like this second we have rotated coordinate system like this so at even if the coordinate system is changing the sum of this diagonal element for a matrix for a stress matrix for a given point will be same so what so that's why we are calling l1 as invariant that means whether we are taking this coordinate system or this coordinate system for the given point the sum of sigma x sigma y sigma z will be zero so here we know sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z is equal to zero so if pure shear occur for a particular for a particular matrix sum of sigma x sigma y sigma z will be zero and uh, since uh, sigma x plus sigma y plus sigma z is invariant if at all the matrix changes even though this sigma x sigma y sigma y z have value say minus 2 1 on even though this sigma x sigma y sigma z have values their sum will be zero so that means if a stress matrix is given and we have to identify whether a state of pure shear occur or not there is a simple thing we want to add the diagonal elements and if the sum of those diagonal elements is zero that means a state of pure shear occurs so in total we can say state of pure shear means the direct stresses will be zero at a even at a even a single matrix sigma x sigma y sigma z will be zero or sum of them at every matrix will be zero. Thank you.